Perhaps one of the most tedious effects to use right here for After Effects are particle effects just because there's so many different parameters. But in this video, I want to show you how easy it is to use particle effects and how you can use them to help you produce better work and enhance your After Effects compositions. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone's doing excellent today. So in this video, we're going to go through three to four different particle effects to help you enhance your work and produce something really awesome. So let's jump in. Let's take a look at our particle effects and let's get started. All right, for our first particle technique we're going to create these particles coming right towards us kind of looks like a space scene but really good on you know solid black or white backgrounds we want to add a little extra detail so first thing we want to do is go to layer new solid and we'll make sure the color is set to white and click ok and then we'll go to effect simulation and we're going to grab cc starburst and if we're talking about the candy strawberry is my favorite so please you know send me a few first thing you want to do is come here to grid spacing and set that down to one and we'll come here to the size, maybe set that to 75 and make these a little bit smaller. And we'll come here to the speed and let's set that down to 0.13. And one thing we need to do is increase the scatter and this will loosen up the amount of particles in here. So simply just with this very quick technique, we've added these particles into our scene and you can of course, you know, invert the color so it looks great on a white background as well. So a really cool first technique. Alrighty, for our second technique, I'm going to show you how to create bounce particles. One of my favorite type of particles to create because it's just so cinematic. Alrighty, so let's go to effect simulation, of course, and let's grab CC particle world. So this is probably the most more complex, you know, particle effect there is. And of course, make sure you apply this effect to a solid layer. So first of all, always go into the producer. That should be the first thing that you do when using this effect. And you should position the emitter, which is this, to be where you want the particles to come out from. So I kind of want this from you know the text here so it's pretty much in a good spot and then you have the radiuses you'll see this circle right here that will be where the particles are emitting from you can go ahead and play around these but for this one i'm going to go ahead and increase the radius z by 0.5 and that's about it what i'm going to do for the producer then we'll go into the physics of course and the first thing we're going to do is come into velocity and set this down to 0.13 because this effect always comes out so fast and this will kind of help you with the emitter as well. So if you go back to that producer and just those settings, that helps a lot. Go to the gravity and I'm gonna set this down to 0 0.07 so the particles won't fall down as fast. But I'll come here to the extra and set that to zero. And then we'll come here to the floor and we'll set the floor action to bounce. And if you're watching this, you won't see the particles bounce because we need to increase the longevity because the particles are lasting for a second. So we'll set this up to like 12. So now particles are gonna emit out of this and bounce off the floor. We can come here to the bounciness and we'll set this up to like 48. And we'll come here to the random, set this to 50. So they'll kind of vary the bouncing. And we'll come here and increase the spread to like 30. So this looks really ugly. So let's go into the particle settings. And this is where we get to design, you know, the colors and you know the particle type. You can change this to a faded sphere. I've really liked that one, but line for this is what I'm going for. And you can change the birth color to whatever matches your scene. I'll set to white. And maybe our depth color to like a bluer color. So it'll kind of fade into that at some point and then the only thing you have to do from here is animate the birth rate so obviously we just want like a little bit of sparks here i'll move this layer over come here to the beginning of our timeline and we'll add a keyframe for birth rate set the birth rate to 0.4 because you don't want too many of these or it looks weird and then we'll move forward in our timeline to say three seconds and we'll set it down to zero and before i do a ram preview i want to add a glow effect so i'll go to effect stylize and add glow i'm going to go ahead and duplicate this effect and set the glow radius up to 100 and I'm going to duplicate the effect one more time. And I'm going to come here to the glow radius for the second glow effect and all click the stopwatch for that uh, effect. And I'm going to type in random, open parenthesis 100, close parenthesis just like that. And then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and properly composite this into my scene. All right, and when it's all said and done, we have these particles that emit from wherever you want them to be and they'll stay on the floor, which is really awesome. They bounce there and they'll stay there. And it's pretty cinematic for that. So I think it's a really cool effect. So before we move on to our next technique, if you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here for After Effects, I want to give a shout out to our 1400 plus After Effects template extension right here for After Effects. So this is our Motion Graphics Professionals Pack, which has over 1400 templates right here for After Effects, along with a handful of categories. But one category we'll take a look at is the titles. So what you can do is preview a template before you apply it, and when you find the right template, you click on apply. And with a click of a button, we have a full title animation inside of our composition. We can go into that comp and quickly change out our titles. And you can easily change colors with a click of a button. 
and everything will update in our main composition. This animated background is from our motion graphics high tech category where you can just apply a really cool background. We also have some really cool particle overlays in here as well that you can apply into any After Effects project. So if you want to check out any of the packs we have off our website, so if you're looking to save time and produce awesome work for your business and client projects, I will link our packs below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, for our last technique, we're going to create some weather effects by using snow and rain. I'm going to show you these two techniques in the last uh, part of our video here. So to create some snow is very easy. Just go ahead and create a new solid and make sure the color is white. Click OK. Then let's go to effect simulation and let's grab CC snowfall and make sure you check on composite with original. There it is. And this is a really cool effect. One thing I would take a look at is maybe the size to make this a little bit bigger, but pretty much all the settings here are going to be the same exact thing for creating rain. So I'm going to go ahead and bypass the settings here and show you how to create rain real quick and show you some really cool settings with that. So we'll go ahead and create another solid. And then we'll go to effect simulation and we'll grab CC rainfall and it's right there. Okay. Make sure you check on that composite original and like the snowfall effect i don't think the rainfall effect is good out of the box so there's a few settings i would like to go through but the settings are pretty much the same parameters in the snowfall effect so first of all the drops let's go ahead and decrease this down to make 1500 all right and that will kind of lighten up you know how crazy this is but i would like to increase the size by a touch and you know we'll come here to the wind and we can increase this by a little bit and that will change the direction you come here to the variance or the variation of the wind and that will be a little bit more of a crazy rainfall. And I'll come here to the opacity. You can increase or decrease that depending on how much you really want to see of this. And you know, here's our rain here. One thing I would do is maybe even lower the speed play with that. So it's not going down as crazily fast, but that makes the wind a little bit more intense. So that's pretty cool just to have a little bit subtle rain in your scene. Or even you use this as some random particles or straight lines. Just add a little detail to it. So that's our short tour on creating particle effects. There's so many different ways to use these types of effects. So I might make another video off this in the future. But until then, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below. We are posting Instagram tutorials now. So be sure to be following our Instagram and always be creative.